Seth Money right. Brown, Mary right. Smith Jr. That boy Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> yeah. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on the hottest Mexican fight on the planet. And we got the hottest YouTube fight on the planet. Canelo Alvarez, the four division world champion, the unified super middleweight world champ, looking to be the undisputed world champion when you take okay to plant November the 6th. And then we got Jake Paul, who takes on Tyron Woodley August 29th. It's up and coming Sunday. But Canelo want to let Jake Paul know, stop clout chasing my name, son. Stop clout chasing my damn name before I hurt you. Y'all listen to what Jake Paul had to say about Canelo, and I'll be back with a great assessment, family. I think it'd be better, you know, face Canelo. You know, I, I think he's in his prime. Uh, and I seen what Yildrum, the Turkish warrior, did. He quits in the corner. That guy isn't nearly as athletic, as fast, as determined as I am. So why can't I go in there against Canelo? Now y'all see Jake Paul, man. He feeling himself, right? I like Jake Paul. Cool kid. Fighting the people that he need to fight inside the ring for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? To be a YouTube sensation. Tyrone Willie is a UFC fighter. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a little dangerous fight for you. Go see how that turned out. But the reason why you can't get in on with Canelo, bro, because you'll be signing your own fucking death certificate. That's why. You get in there with this monster, you will be signing your own death certificate. Now, I say you're a strong kid that can take an ass whooping, right? But you can't take this man ass whooping right here. This is a different um, type of ass whooping. A Canelo ass whooping for somebody like Jake Paul, it's a different type of ass whooping. To Canelo, Jake Paul, you are a civilian. You understand what I'm saying? You are a civilian. You are just somebody that learned how to put on gloves and go into the ring and you got a little skill so you can fight and you can punch. But fucking with this man right here, this man is a killing machine, bro. Canelo hands are registered. Registered as weapons. Deadly weapons. Do you know what that means? His hands are registered as deadly weapons. A knife, a gun, a jackhammer, everything that you can hit a motherfucker with that can kill him. Canelo hands are those, bro. So you don't want to get into that ring with this dude for real. You're just talking, bro. You're clout chasing. You're talking. You got a fight coming up. You use the Canelo name just like Delahoya. We see what Delahoya did. That motherfucker thought about it as soon as that fight got a little closer. But you, Jake Paul, listen. You're doing okay, kid. You're fighting the fighters that you need to fight to put you on the map to make you look good. You understand? The Tyron Woolley fight is a cool fight for you. UFC fighter, never put on gloves before, never fought in the boxing ring. His first time face, facing you, you probably got more boxing experience than him because you've been in the ring, right? So it's a good little situation for you. He go talk shit back to you, you go talk shit back to him. We just seen what happened with the crew and the mother, y'all hyping it up, things of that nature. And yes, Monty Brown will watch on Sunday because it's entertaining. And like I said, I do like you, Jake Paul and Tyron Woolley is my St. Louis brother, so I'm going to support him as well. But when you're talking about you want to fight Canelo Alvarez, kid, I think you better think again. I think you better think again because that, that is not what you want, son. It's not what you want. You think it's what you want because you're on, you, you feel yourself, you feel like you're on top of the world. But I'm going to tell you right now, this killer right here, Canelo Alvarez, is no Floyd Money Mayweather inside that square circle. He's not looking to carry you a few rounds like Mayweather did your brother and Conor McGregor. Canelo is not looking to carry you, son. He's looking to bury you, son. Let me say that again. Canelo is not looking to carry you. He's looking to bury you. And bury he's going to do. Like I say, his hands are registered weapon. I don't mean to talk like this, but y'all yeah, know I speak the facts. I can only speak it one way and that's real. Canelo will fuck Jake Paul up so bad that the man might have to go to the hospital and in and, and some serious conditions. Serious conditions. And I don't wish that on no man. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish it on no man. I give Jake Paul credit for being a man and getting inside the ring and, and fighting. But this is just something totally different right here. You're talking about the number one pound for pound fight on the planet. You did? A motherfucker that hit hard than hard. You did? You ain't never seen somebody that hit harder than hard. And that's Canelo Alvarez. Jake Paul, you have no defense. None. Zero. Zilt. Nada. You have nothing to protect you from Canelo Alvarez, bro. Nothing. Your punches won't even come close to Canelo. 
When Canelo get into that ring and start slipping and dipping on your ass and, and slide to the left and slide to the right and crisscross and body your ass to the body and you falling down and hit your ass one of them upper cups that lift you back up and, and it's going to look like you're falling on your face and then Canelo going to hit your ass with an upper cup. Boom, lift you back up. Boom, hit you with a hook. And, man, that's going to be all she wrote, man. That's going to be all she wrote. He's going to body upper cup hook. Bop, bop, boom. He's going to nail your ass. And once you feel that bazooka, that boom, and your ass land on that canvas, and your brother's looking at you, probably unconscious, not breathing, they going to know. You should never sign that fucking death certificate fucking with Canelo, bro. So, two, Jake Paul. Stop the clout chasing. Know what I'm saying? Stop bringing up Canelo's name in these interviews. I don't give a fuck if they do ask you about him. Tell them, no, 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 no. This is not that. I'm not that kind of fighter, right? I'm getting by with the little skills that I got. You talking about Abner Yildirim. Did you see what fucking happened to Abner Yildirim? You think you better than Abner Yildirim? You better think again, boy. You can't be no Abner Yildirim. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck how good you think you is in boxing. You can't be no Abner Yildirim, bro. But did you see what Abner Yildirim did? He used to spar with Canelo. And you see what Canelo did to his ass? No mercy. No mercy. And now you talking shit about Canelo. You saying this and that and all this. And you think once you get into that ring, he going to take it easy on you? He's not going to play with you, man. You coming into his habitat. You in his jungle. You dig? It's like a dirt just walking around a lion just prancing, playing, trying to eat some grass in front of a hungry-ass lion. You know what's going to happen to that, that dirt, don't you? Yeah. And not a big dirt, baby dirt. You a baby dirt, said Canelo. You ain't even a, a, a full-grown dirt. You are a baby dirt. So you know how easy it's going to be to take you down, bro? Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. And to the people out there who ask some questions in the media, y'all quit souping this dude fucking head up, bringing up Canelo's name for this dude, man. Y'all understand what Canelo is. Y'all know what happened, bro. Keep this man on his level. Y'all stop pumping up this kid head, man. I'm talking about Canelo. This man has nothing coming with a Canelo. Nothing. He has a YouTube following, yes. He can sell some pay-per-views, yes. But getting into that ring with Canelo, y'all want to see this man get hurt. Y'all want to see him get fucked up. That's going to be the end of Jake Paul everything. You did? Jake Paul would never want to get in the boxing ring again after he faced a Canelo Alvarez, bro. And I put money on it. I bet my house on it. Jake Paul would never get into another boxing ring again if he get into the ring with a Canelo Alvarez. The number one motherfucking fighter on the planet. He's not going to last. Not, I don't think he lasts three rounds. I don't, I don't think he lasts three rounds. He has no defense to take Canelo body shots. He has nothing coming with Canelo counters. He don't know how to catch and shoot. He don't know how to do none of that shit. He don't know how to roll with punches, catch punches on the arms, wrap up, grab up, or none of that. You did? This dude would get slaughtered. Slaughtered. Like I say, like a baby there in front of a fucking lion, bro. Let's stop playing, man. Let's stop playing. Jake Paul, I like you, kid. I really do. I like what you're doing in the little boxing game. I like that you got a nice little career going. You got a nice little buzz going. You got a little fighting skills. Right? Like I said, to fight the caliber opponents you have, you have a little fighting skills to get you by. You understand? But when you keep talking about Canelo Alvarez, man, that's 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 night and day. That's night and day, bro. You 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 listen, you don't stand a chance, kid. Not at all. And somebody need to tell you, look, if you're using this name for clout, okay, it's working. It's working. Cause you got Money Brown making videos about you and Canelo, but it's not in a good light. We all know good, all publicity is good publicity, whether they talking good or bad about you. And I'm going to tell you now, Canelo going to fuck you up. So I'm going to talk bad about you, about fighting Canelo. But I'm going to give you credit for what you're doing, you know, as a young kid, making your buzz grow and selling pay-per-views like you're selling pay-per-views. But you talking about Canelo Alvarez, I made a video before saying he was seen to the hospital. And I stand by every fucking word. I stand by every word. Canelo Alvarez will put this kid in the hospital. Something terrible, bro. 
his mother, his father, his brother, and whatever other siblings he have will be crying. His girlfriend, they will be praying that he wakes the fuck up or that everything is A-OK once he come up out of that surgery or whatever he's in because Canelo's going to break something. Canelo will hurt this dude badly, bro. Broken ribs, broken jaw, broken ass socket, knocked out cold. Man, it's, 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 not, it's not a game. It's not a game. And I'm not joking. I'm not playing. Boxing is not a game when you're talking about fucking with the elites. When you're talking about fucking with the elites, it's not a game, bro. It's shit that they do that you cannot counter. It's shit that they do that you don't even, you won't even see coming. You won't even see it coming, bro. You'll be through a punch and you'll be laughing and joking, feeling good. And that's thing you know, everything will go black and you'll be limbed. You'll be limbed, bro. Waking up in the hospital with tools in your mouth talking about what the fuck happened. That's if you wake up at all. And I'm just here to keep it real. I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing. Boxing is a daily sport. We've seen it happen. We've seen it happen. Like I say, Canelo hands are, are, are registered weapons. They are registered weapons. You feel me? He's not allowed to punch nobody unless they assault him first or put their hands on him first. He's not allowed to punch nobody. And cats will try to get punched by him and try to sue him just to get a payday. Payday. So I'm going to tell you now, um, little Jake Paul, stay in your lane. Stick to the UFC fighters. Stick to the basketball players and the football players and shit like that. Stop saying you want to fight Canelo Alvarez because that ain't what you want, bro. Like I said, Oscar De La Hoya, you knew he better stop saying that shit as well. Canelo is not what you want. If you get into the ring with Canelo, he's going to murder you, son. He's going to murder you, and that's going to be the end of everything that you've ever done, and it's going to be a, 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 a death certificate, bro. That's just what it is. You're signing a death certificate. So stay in your light. Stay in your lane. Leave Canelo the fuck alone. Good luck on Sunday against Tyron Willie. I will be tuning in. I think it will be entertaining. But once again, leave Canelo the fuck alone. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. And nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status family.